AutoSyst allows you to manage your inventory, such as parts and other miscellaneous items. To access the inventory management system within AutoSyst, once you log into your account, you have your garage here on the left. You have an inventory tab here at the top where you can directly go to the inventory. Or if you have other vehicles that you want to click into, you can click into a specific vehicle or asset. And you'll also have the inventory tab here. Both areas will take you to the same spot. So when you click on inventory, this is where your inventory home page is. And this is where all your different parts will be listed. Um, these are some of the common um, things that are showing up here on the home page, such as uh, the name, the part number, the location, and the quantity. The minimum quantity alert is important. Whatever number you put there, uh, as soon as your quantity hits that minimum quantity alert, it will send you a notification to yourself as well as anybody on your team. Uh, that can be controlled in the notification settings here, and you'd be able to add different emails, and they can get notified when you hit that minimum alert quantity. Um, you can edit uh, the different parts here that you see. To add a new part, you click on Add New Part, and this is where all the different uh, uh, fields will go. Um, and you can also add custom fields. So anything with a red X here is a custom field I've added, so you can really personalize it and create as many different custom fields as you wish. Now, the way we track the count, uh, you know, so that you do get the alert when you're low, um, you have your quantity here. Right now we have tires, we have 32 tires in stock. This is directly linked to the service section. So when you're inside of a vehicle, right now I'm inside unit 100. This is uh, inventory management system is directly linked to the service section. So when you're adding a new service, you see here there's an add parts from inventory option. So when you click this, this is where your inventory gets pulled out of and, and it's all linked back to that inventory homepage that I showed you just a, a second ago. So if you were to search for the part number or the part name, um, it can be searched by multiple uh, different ways. You could see here I have 32 tires and it has the cost that you've already pre-populated. So let's say I got you know four new tires for this uh, vehicle or asset. Uh, now it automatically will calculate that and it'll deduct that number there. So if I type in you know tires and then let's say I, say I hit save. Before I used to have 32. If I go back to my inventory, you can see here now that it's gone down to 28. So as soon as it hits your minimum alert quantity, it will also send you the notification letting you know that you uh, either need to reorder or restock and, and, and go from there. So this can be done on the mobile app as well. Uh, you'd be able to do the same thing where when you're adding services, you'd be able to deduct it from there and, and capture uh, the inventory that was used. So that is it for the inventory uh, management system. Uh, you could also export to Excel and we have other reports that we could build. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions on how to better manage your fleet, please give us a call toll free at 888-316-5877 or you can email us at info at autosys.com. You can also see more product demo videos and information via our website at autosys.com.